Hello everyone, this is Swati GS from College of Agriculture, Vijayapura. Today, I will be dealing with a topic called Arthritis under the course Livestock and Poultry Healthcare offered by Dr. S. Y. Mukarthar. Arthritis, it's an inflammatory condition of one or more joints. Inflammation is nothing but swelling and reddening of any affected body part. Joints are also or places where two bones meet such as elbows, knees, etc. It, uh, sometimes arthritis is also associated with bacterial and viral infection. Trauma may also be involved. Trauma is nothing but physical injury. It is the swelling and tenderness of one or more joints. Arthritis is affected by a very large group of animals which includes cattle, sheep, goats, pigs, etc. Arthritis of goats is known as big knee. The name given so is adult goats will cause swelling of one or more carpal joints and it is caused by a virus called caprine arthritis encephalitis which is common in dairy goats but rare in meat goats. You can see here the difference between LT joint and damaged joint. In damaged joint there is a synovial inflammation and destruction of cartilage. The very next question arises is causes of arthritis. Let's see. Infection frequently occurs when animal immune system is compressed by damaged skin, trauma, dirty umbilical cord or lack of proper nutrition during first few hours of life. And another important cause is suboptimal herd health management which often leads to general health impairment and subsequently to arthritis. It may be inherited genetically also. Types of arthritis. There are mainly three common types of arthritis which includes rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis and septic arthritis. Let's see one by one. Rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune disease that attacks the joints. It specially degrades the cartilage. As the autoimmune indicates, body mistakes its own protein for foreign protein and tries to eradicate them. And it is relatively uncommon in dogs. The next is osteoarthritis also known as degenerative joint disease because it affects very large number of tissues and it is an old age problem wherein articular cartilage becomes thin and filled with synovial fluid. It is the common type of arthritis because it is often caused by wear and tear on a joint over its lifetime. Besides breakdown of cartilage, it affects the entire joint and causes changes in bone and deterioration of connective tissue. You can see the image over there osteoarthritic knee where is erodic, eroding cartilage and exposed bones are seen. And here are the difference between normal joint and osteoarthritic bond, joint. Septic arthritis, commonly known as joint infections. They are common in all breeds of cattle and are life threatening to the animals. But they are most commonly seen in young cows as a secondary infection to umbilical. They may be caused by direct trauma or wounds to the joints or by surrounding tissues. The most common joints affected by the septic arthritis are carpus, stifle or hawk. Then what are the signs and symptoms of arthritis? The most common symptoms observed under arthritis is their difficulty in moving including getting up from laying position which includes pain, stiffness, swelling, redness, decreased range of motion, fibrinous discharge, muscle atrophy which means thinning of muscles, abnormal grooming and reduced activity of an animal. Then how to treat this arthritis? Here are some points to treat the arthritis. First one is exercise which is most important for treating arthritis as it keeps the strength in muscles, tendons and the surrounding tissues. And the most common treatment includes traditional oral medicines like analgesics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which relieve pain and reduce inflammation. Several dietary supplements are also available for pet with arthritis which includes glycosaminoglycans which are the building blocks of cartilage and low level laser therapy have been used in the treatment of pets. You can see the images of the treatments like glycosaminoglycans and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Thank you for listening and special thanks to Dr. S.Y. Mukartar sir for giving this opportunity to upload in YouTube. Thank you.